This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. I overheard an interesting conversation the other day between a man and a woman, right? So this woman was talking about how she was back on the dating apps and she had recently matched with this guy and gone on a date with him, right? And so the guy was like, well, I have the date going, whatever. And she was saying, well, it was a pretty decent date. And then she was saying, but she was questioning whether or not she wanted to see him again or not. And if what she learned about him on a date was a red flag. And he said, well, what, what, what happened? And so what she said was she went out with the guy and in the course of getting to know him, he expressed that uh, he had just gotten out of jail a few weeks ago. And she said, well, what are you in jail for? And he said he had been in jail for selling narcotics, like drugs and stuff. And so she, she literally said, so I'm wondering now, if, if I should give him points for being honest with me about it, or if I should take away points because he was selling drugs. And she was really like trying to balance if the fact that he told her about that, if that means that because he's so honest about that, that he's now trustworthy enough to be able to date in spite of the fact that he did a, a kind of bad thing, right? And it really does speak to this idea of what do women actually value? Do they value, do they value honesty from a guy or do they value what his actual lifestyle is? And what I'm finding more and more is that overall, most women on average actually are appreciating more so the fact that a guy is honest with them about whatever, versus um, lying about it. And I stress this because as guys, we think we have to be so perfect and that if we do anything wrong whatsoever, that it means that we are just gonna be seen as like the worst person ever. And it's like, they really value honesty more so than they do actually like what we're doing. Like, and I stress this because some of you guys are thinking like, you know, well, the reason that women don't like me is because I'm not perfect or doing this, this, and that, whatever. And if I tell her about my lifestyle, like I live at home with my mom or, you know, I don't have a job, I don't have a car, that that means that she's not going to like me. And when I tell you the number of women that I have met personally that have dated bum dudes that had next to nothing that they were still interested in dating, it would blow your freaking mind. I've had it where I've literally been a guy that at one point had like a decent job and couldn't get women and then had no job and was living on somebody's couch and had women that were dating me and knew my situation where I was like, yeah, I don't have a car. I'll meet you there by catching the bus. Yeah, I can't really pay for this date. So I'm going to like, you know, take you out somewhere else instead. Like that kind of stuff happens. And it's it, and when I first tried it, it baffled me. Like I was really that guy that was like, I don't want to tell women about everything about myself or what I'm doing because, oh my God. And lo and behold, when I actually just didn't give a crap and just said, yeah, this is my situation. They were more turned on because they had never heard a guy be so honest about their situation. So I stress this because I want you guys to get over the fact that your life's not perfect. And I know if you go online, the narrative is if you don't have six figures or have six, uh, six pack abs or are six inches or longer, whatever like that, that women won't date you. And I have found the online world totally true. In the real world, I have friends that are like five foot six that have married taller women. I know dudes that are overweight that get hot model chicks. I know dudes that, well, I don't know what their stuff is like down there, but either way, all these types of guys still get women and they're blatantly honest about what's going on in their lives and about their height and about what they're doing and all this little stuff, right? But if you are a liar, women will punish a liar who claims to be a nice guy over a jerk guy that's at least being honest about how much he doesn't want her as a girlfriend. And so you have to start to get comfortable with that. The idea that you can be your honest, authentic self in all of its ugly glory and that women will more often than not be like, I'd rather date him than somebody else. The fact that this woman is like, he went to jail and I'm still contemplating a second date with him should tell you everything you need to know ever about how honesty trumps being a nice guy and how honesty trumps trying to hide who you truly are.